Ready? Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here. <laughs> you say it like you're sad about it. No. I know you're not. Old Vinny. Old Vinny. Huh. I don't know why I'm looking at Tim with this. Um, is everybody here? Y'all tell us if you made it and if you see us and if we're here. We can't dilly dally because y'all know how YouTube will go away from us. <laughs> YouTube will take a hiatus. So, a couple things we need to cover today, real quick which were questions that we had. Number one, what is a Brenda album? <laughs> that was the biggest question. A Brenda album, and if Amanda can get to it, or Jamie or somebody, maybe bring me a Brenda album back here so I can show it. Um, and, Joshy, would you bring a Brenda album back here? Yes. Any old one of them, it don't matter, this so I can awesome. show it. And um, I'll show you what a Brenda album is, but what we're doing is my version of a Brenda album, which is done a little different, but not a whole lot different. Like Brenda's are done very free form and very flowy and very no stress, but guess what? I do no stress as well. So yesterday, and if you didn't see yesterday's video, after this video goes live, I can link yesterday's. So after we process this video, I'll do it. So um, I also have a playlist started for you guys so you can see all of that. And yesterday we made um, six pages. Did we do six or five? We did six pages all together, and we made these yesterday. Super easy, using chipboard, hole punch, glue, uh, et cetera, et cetera. By the way, I said that? Yes. Et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so today, I, I, well, when Josh gets back, I'm going to show you the Brenda album real quick, and then I'm going to show you what we're doing, okay? Don't read it. just make you angry. Well, you know. <laughs> it's always something, right? There's always something going on. Let me go right here and just see something. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that one looks good. Let's go over here. I'm just checking. I'm waiting on Josh to bring me my um, album to show you guys. And let's look at this. And let's look at this. Nope, let's look at this one. And let's change this down and see if it'll help. I don't know if it'll help. Warning. Oh. I don't know about this. Y'all, I'm still trying to learn this thing. So, if we're having trouble, it's probably my fault. Because I'm trying. Let's see if that helps any at all. I don't know if it will, but we'll see. If it does, it'll clear it up. All right, what's a Brenda album? Let me show you. This is a Brenda album. I'm going to see if y'all, let me see this. Go right here. Okay. This is a Brenda album. And what it is, is it's basically a paper pack and cardstock and stickers that she turns into an album. It's just her, she uses almost all of the paper pack and turns it into an album. Now this one's bigger. I think this one is an 8x8. Eight eight. Let me see. Nope, 7 by seven-ish, something like that. She doesn't measure. Look, one page is bigger than the rest, like one piece of cardboard's bigger than the rest. She doesn't care, right? It's perfectly fine um, to do anything you want in a Brenda album. But what this album is I'm doing is my version. So I do things a little more precise, but not a whole lot more precise. Like I don't stress people out. Mm. Agree? I don't stress yeah. people out. But I do things a little more precise. So today we're gonna start doing pages and we're gonna start with the cover. Um, so we have to pick a piece that is going to be on our cover and I want to look through these and our oh the paper pack We're using by the way is photo play and it is called what is this one called? Something summer right those summer days. That's the paper pack we're using It's available and it's on sale in our store at maymaymadeit.com The other thing I wanted to mention to you guys if you have a question be sure to put it in capital letters for Vince and when I'm doing repetitive things, he's going to go back and read your question. So if you think he's not answering it, that's not the case. He's just going to save questions for when I'm doing repetitive things, okay? That's not good. How'd that get left in here? <laughs> There's a phone in here. All right. Paper trimmer right there. And we're going to start cutting apart. I'm thinking this might be really cute on the front. Happy days 
Or, oh, those summer days are cute, aren't they? Mm. Sunshine on my mind. This is cute. This matches really well for the front cover, too. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut these two pages apart. And um, we'll pick out from there. So I'm just going to cut both of these pages apart as we sit here. You can save this if you want. I'm not going to. There's not a whole lot on there I want to use. So I'm just going to toss that. All right, then. Cut these guys apart. Does it feel like it's getting better? Uh, a lot of people are saying everything looks great. Good. Uh, we did have a question from Catherine. She says, what does it do, and do you just store your creations in it? Um, it's a photo album, and you put pictures in all of the little spots on it. And speaking of that, you guys have been asking me to do an album where I just spend time putting photos in it and film it so you can see it. Saturday's video is going to be that. I'm going to film myself putting some Christmas pictures in a Christmas album I made back in September of last year that I didn't put any pictures in. And I'm just going to go through my phone and print out all the holiday pictures that I have from Christmas time. Might even be some Thanksgiving if I have any. I didn't take any specific Thanksgiving pictures, but I'm going to put them in there for Saturday's video. I thought since we're doing a mini album this week, now's the time. Are you guys good with that? You've, you've asked for it so much. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to cut this other page up too. Alrighty then. I need to clean my trimmer out. Have you been cutting too much paper with it? I see how it gathers up up there. It does. You just have to. It doesn't really hurt anything. I just don't like looking at it. <laughs> does it feel dirty? It does. It feels like it needs a bath. It really does. Hmm. All right. Any more questions? Uh, I haven't noticed any more rolling through here, but let me go back and make sure. Uh, Belinda did say that she can't wait to get her paper. She ordered it yesterday, and she may or may not have uh, gotten a couple of sets of stamps, too, while she was Oh, there. cool. Which ones did you get? Let us know. Well, she doesn't know for sure if she did. She said may or may, may not. Yeah, that means she probably did. She might be trying to not, you know, incriminate herself. Incriminate herself? You don't have to tell us if there's someone watching that doesn't need to know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. You guys are going to be super excited. Here we are doing a summer album, but um, Mandy and I have been working on Christmas sets for now a month now? I think a month. Well, I mean, Christmas in July is almost here. That's right. We're going to be releasing three, count them, three Christmas sets. If not more, but three for sure in July. Let me show you how to clean this out if this ever happens. See how that paper's kind of clogged up in there? When I do this, you'll see it because I'm going to pull it all out. I just don't like it in there. So I just take my pokey tool and run it up in here. If you don't have a pokey tool, you should consider it. <laughs> this guy is useful for everything. I even cleaned my laptop with this pokey tool. I put a cleaner cloth on it. And you know where your laptop opens and closes and gets kind of crusty? I use my pokey tool to get down there and clean it out. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna sit this over here for now and let's go back to the album. So now see, since we have all these cut apart, I can just lay them on here and see what I want to be on the front. That's cute. And I'm a flip-flop girl. You are a big fan. I wear flip-flops every day. Every day. These, I'm going to, if I don't use them in here, we'll use them in the book. No problem. This is cute, but I wouldn't be able to get that to fit like I'd want it to. I'm going to save that for the inside. No big deal. We're going to need it. This is so cute. Sunshine. Oh, look at that, babe. Look. <gasps> That's cute. I like it. I like the angle. We got to keep that one out. Now, you did have couple of questions. One was, when will they start being able to order Christmas paper? Um, we had another question from, oh, where is it at? Where is it at? From Haley. Haley asked, when did you first start to love doing crafts? Well, that first question's for you. <laughs> well, there are some leftover Christmas uh, things very little. in the store, but very little. And they're all and, like 40% uh, off, up to 40% off. Yeah, and we have a pretty good size order that'll be coming in very soon. I guess Christmas in July will start July 1st, or what day will you start that? Some will start July 1st, but it will trickle in throughout the month. And the good thing is you got plenty of time. I'm looking for a coordinating paper. I kind of like this purple with this. You got plenty of time, so it'll start trickling in. You should try to find something in this neighborhood. I know. I'm looking. Remember this extra paper pack I'm using? It's kind of using? a pinky thingy, but it's not really pinky. This coordinating paper pack is two-sided. So I'm going to pull them out like this. So I'm looking at one side. Does that make sense? 
and then I can flip it over to see the other side. Mm. Cool, huh? I'm thinking this pink. No. It's oh, really that not, blue. It really doesn't match, but you could use the blue, I think. Well, the thing about this album is I think it's going to be real miscolory. Well, you know, it don't matter. I kind of like that blue. The purple's all right. The green's too close. The pink's too light. I'm going with the blue. That's how I do it. <laughs> but uh, we are, have already begun to, to answer Susan's question. We've already begun to order Christmas paper. As it's dropping. Uh, as it's dropping. So, it, you know, whatever, as soon as it starts hitting where I can order it, it'll be coming in. And I know that we do have, uh, I think we have some Christmas paper that's coming in our... What did you just do, eh? A may may no no. Ooh, I tell people the all the time. Way. No, I went the right way, but I tell people all the time not to do this, and I just did it. Hmm. I just did it. Who wants to spank me? I mean, no, no. Let's don't do that. Okay. <laughs> no, no. That was not. See what good. I did? I ate up that edge. No big deal. We we'll use it on the inside. I don't want to use it on the front. Let me show you what I should have done. Do you know what I should have done? They'll know. I guarantee you they'll know. What well, should I have, you have done? To go. Oh, you don't want me to tell you? Let's see if they can tell me, because hey, I guarantee they if can. If your husband can tell you, they ought to know. First person to tell me gets a what? What? I don't know. The first, oh, oh, that's bad. First person to tell me gets a cricket trimmer. Since I'm using a cricket trimmer. Okay. Ann Wynn said, sink the blade. Sink the blade. That's what I should have done. Up and then down, and I wouldn't have had that problem. Ann Wynn? Write her name down on something. Use one of those pens because we're sending her a Cricut trimmer. Unless you already have a Cricut trimmer, tell me if you do, we'll uh, exchange it for something same dollar amount since I said that. All right, why did I put that up? Now that's the first one it. I saw in the chat. Well, that's where you're at is in the chat. That's where you would have seen it. And when? <gasps> no, okay. wait. Drop the blade. No, go back oh. up. Nope. But don't stress. It would have been Georgia Blair, because start in the middle is what she meant, Georgia Blair, and since you called out Ann, and she was already excited, we're going to do both. We ain't going to mess with you. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of more times to win, because I like to do that. I enjoy it. Okay, so write so down Georgia, Georgia Blair and Ann Wynn. Okay, check this out. Now what I'm going to do, this piece, I want it to have a mat around it, like I would be making a card. That's kind of how I look at these albums. The pages remind, I think of them like greeting cards, okay? Like I make cards all the time. So if I just think of this like a card, I can do that kind of layout, okay? So I'm going to take this and make myself a mat to go around it. Well, this piece is four by four, all right? So what I need to do is cut this piece a little bit bigger. And I want it to be fairly, fairly larger. Let me see how much space I've got. I've got at the top and bottom, I don't have a whole lot. So I think I'm just going to cut this piece a quarter of an inch bigger. So I'll get an eighth of an inch all the way around. So four and a quarter. And I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm just going to come to where I know I've got enough on this side and sink the blade and go up. So then when I come down the other side or go up the other side, I won't be wasting too much paper. I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. So I'm just going to cut till that releases. There we go. So see, this way, I didn't have to cut all that paper. I just cut that corner off. So if I need a bigger piece, I haven't wasted it. All right, so now what's going to happen is I'll mount this to this. That's really cute. And then I will mount it onto... Ooh, I need to take this out of the rings. And then I'll mount it onto here. I'm going to take the rings off of this because I think I can work better without it. And actually, I'm just working on this page, so let's take this one out. Now then... It's a little flat. It needs something. One thing I think, boy, that is just exactly all I could have done. That is exactly all I could have done. Um, it needs something. I think what I'm going to do is look at some stickers, too. And before I glue anything down, I want to kind of lay out what I want. How cute would this be? I have an idea. How cute would it be if I made this a pocket? If I made this side a pocket for a tag. Let me see. So what that means is, because it's plenty big enough, what if I had, oh yeah, what if I had this as a pocket with something coming out of it? That's kind of cute, isn't it? I like that idea. I think I'm going to do that. I'm still studying on that. What do you think? If I made that corner a pocket, what's mm. everybody else say while I'm still looking at stickers? Let's look at stickers. I think that's a good idea. Oh my goodness, this little popsicle thing. I might can use this. What does people think about the making that a pocket? 
Do it. Yes, pocket. Yes, pocket. And what if this was underneath and this was, oh, that's cute, y'all. Do you like this? Yep. Everybody said go for the pocket. All right, I'm going to do the pocket, but I think I'm doing this, too. The popsicles are cute. I'm sticking that down. That's a done deal. So I stuck this down. Okay, this is just stickers. I love the stickers and paper packs. Y'all know that about me. Then I'm going to trim this off on the side just like this. I might should use my big Tim Holtz scissors. I think I will. I can get a better. I can get there better this way. All right, I'm going to slice that down. Get my hand there and catch it. Okay, so I got my stickers trimmed off. But look, this is totally not wasted. I could put it at the top. I don't think I want to put it at the top. I think I want to save it. And I'm going to come back over here, and I'm just going to put this back on the page. And because these are those, like, thick um, chipboard stickers, it kind of nestles back in place, and you can just rub it back in. All right, so that's the layout I'm looking at. This guy on top of that, and then, do I want this to be the pocket? Do I want this, I mean, do I want this to be the tag that comes out? Let me look. It's, oh, the flip-flops. What about now, that? Look, Wendy yes. said, I don't know what you think about this, but Wendy said that insert piece of paper needs to be the shape of a popsicle. Oh, that would be cute. I don't have anything in here to cut a shape. And I'm not opening anything else right now. <laughs> we are going. Hey, I got an idea. What? You gonna wanna hear it? Here it goes. Here's how it goes. The piece of paper that you ruined, just cut the popsicle out of it. What? No, I didn't ruin it. I'm gonna use it. All right, putting some glue onto my page. Just like so. And then I'm going to put this on. I'm gluing this straight down. The pocket is going to be a little different. And this is where you're going to start to see how Maymay does things. Just a little different. What Brenda would do here is she would just put glue on three sides. Glue it down. That's perfectly fine. So basically she would glue here. Hold on. Let me hold it like this. And I'll just point so I'm not moving it around. She would glue under here, here, and here. And then her open side would be her pocket. That is totally doable. Like, that doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to do something a little bit different, and I'll show you. This is where it kind of becomes a May May album. And we may do this several different times or several different ways. I'm going to go back to my paper trimmer. Oh, I'm sorry. I moved my thingy bobber. And now I'm going to cut some strips that, for me, I'm going to do one inch. I like one inch. You don't have to do an inch. But I'm going to cut myself some strips that are an inch wide. And what I need to do, and I already know this because remember we, we made this ourselves. I know this is four and a quarter here. So I need three strips that are four and a quarter long. So I'm going to lay this on here. Four and a quarter by one inch. I'm going to make what I like to call binder pieces or gussets. And I'll show you what I mean. So I got two of them. And then we'll do one more. This is classic mini album. This is not like May May came up with it or anything like that. It's just the way I like to do it. I think... For pockets, for me, I like how much um, give it gives me. Give it gives me? It's, that's, it's a word. It's a thing. You can right. do it. <laughs> it's a thing. I need my small mini, I mean, I need my small trimmer. I need to bring that in. We're still bringing stuff in from the old craft room. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if I run out of stuff I need. Okay, then. Here we go. Oh, and by the way, you could totally score this before you cut it all up. My brain just works one step at a time, and I'm okay with that. I don't know if anybody else's is that way, but my brain works like, I don't, I don't think ahead a lot unless I've already made the project. If I've already made it and I'm going to show you guys how to do it, I think ahead a lot then because I can go, oh, yeah, I had to do this and I had to do that and blah, blah, blah. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I don't think ahead a lot. All right. So there are, I, by the way, I didn't even tell you what I did. So I took these one inch pieces and I scored them in half at half an inch. So now I have these that are going to be gussets or even binder pieces. Some people call them binder pieces. I'm going to use some sticky tape. Hey, can you hand me, I don't have one in here. We're going to have to use this little guy and that'll be fine. I was trying to find a uh, acrylic block. This one will do just fine. All right, so what I'm going to do now the reason I cut this out of this paper is I want this to match. So if it shows any at all, it'll be hidden behind there because it's the same color. If I use a different color, see how you'll be able to see my binding and I don't want to see it. So that's why I use that color. So I want to make sure I put my tape on the side I don't want to show. Nope, that's a lie. I want to put my tape on the side I do want to be in the outside, if that makes sense. It will in a second if it doesn't yet. 
So I'm gonna run this down here like so. Here's something I love to do. So I take an acrylic block and where I wanna tear my tape, just like that. So I'm, I'm just gonna put tape on both of these little flaps and then we're gonna get them ready to go onto our uh, front page. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's the best idea? Yeah, it's the way I like to do it. It's the Maymay um, way. Amanda asked, do you still have those We Are Memory Keeper scoreboards? The big ones or the little ones? She was not specific. Please be more specific. The one I just showed, we should have some of those in stock. Those are the ones that have the measurements really good. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we do. I think we do. They're the ones with she the really the good big measurements. One. Yeah, they're the ones with the really good measurements. I'm pretty sure we have some in stock. Because I went ahead and got a bunch of those because I thought they were good. Is that a new one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember, it's the one I told you had the measurements that people really like because they're easy to read. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Now I know which one you're talking about. I'm sorry. All right. Bone folder. I'm going to fold this in half. Just like so. And then crease it down. I'm going to do that on all of them. Super fast and in a hurry. Why am I in a hurry? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know neither. All right. Get this one done. You're quiet today, Ben. Oh, Jen's on. Hey, Jen. Hi. Okay, check this out. Now, because I want this Genevieve. to... <laughs> now, because I want this to... Um, let me show you. I'm going to lay one of these here. But because it's a pocket, I want to lay one here and also here. But if I don't do some work in the corners, I'm going to get a funny connector. You see what I'm saying? So you got to do a little They'll overlap. So we're going to do a little mitering. So I'm just going to pick all these guys up. Listen to you using them carpenter words. That's not a carpenter word. That's mitering a sewing word. Mitering is not a, copy, a carpenter word? I'm going to miter this corner like a... It's both. It's carpentry and sewing. It's either okay. one. I'm going to hold them together, and I'm going to cut it. Um, am I doing this the right way? Yes. So I'm cutting from the fold. I mean, from the open side to the fold and you'll see why I want it to lay like that see make sense mm -hmm. all right it made sense to me okay so even you know a dude <laughs> even Vinny brain so now because I want all my corners to match it's not a big deal really if they don't I'm gonna take the one I cut and use it as my um, pattern all the way around the rest of them all the way around so line this one up and don't worry about that little bit of sticky tape that you're cutting off. It's For me, it's better to just go ahead and put it down and not have to be so precise on that little edge yeah. than to do it after this cutting. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't save enough tape to stress about. I mean, some people might. But I don't think we do. Just maybe remember, don't be too heavy Well, you know, you could always get you a Ziploc bag and save it. <laughs> you're a nut job. Nut! Okay, so I don't need those guys. Here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pay attention. We're going to pay attention to the fact that this is our pocket, okay? So that means I need these um, trim or these pieces to go around these sides, all right? So I'm going to do this because I'm real bad about forgetting things when I flip them over. <laughs> I'm real bad about it. Now I'm just going to, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm going to take my pokey tool and pick this back off just like so. And Voila. then I'm going to go over here to this side. I know where I'm at now. And I'm just going to line up those points with the points of my corner little square. Corner. Yeah. Just lining it up like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same. Now I'm just going to bring them around. I don't have to have this anymore because I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to peel off a backer. But actually, it won't matter which one. So peel off a backer. Like so. Flip this dude around. And I'm going to lay it right at that other one. See, this is why I think it's cool if you trim them at the same time, you have a much better opportunity to get them laid straight or get the miters right. You know what I'm saying? Get them the same. Don't stress about perfection though. Don't stress about that. Just have fun. Just glue it down on three sides. You don't have to do this, but you guys said you wanted to see my version, how I would do things a little different. And the, really the reason I do this is because I just think I get more room in a pocket than just gluing three sides down. Does anybody else agree with me about that? You guys can start answering that question for me. I think in these albums, when we make these little kind of gusseted pockets, we get a little more give and we can put a little more in the pockets, if that makes sense. All right, so there's that. And now it's, it's going to be a pocket when I put it down. 
Because what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our cover. We're going to peel these pieces off. Are you impressed, man? Well, yeah, so far. Have mm -hmm. you got time for me to answer a craft question? Yeah. A yeah. store question, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had a question from, let me go back up where I can see it, Crafty Dream Studio. They wanted to know when we would be getting the Nina Naturals paper back in stock. Um, it's hard for me to say this, but our distributor discontinued that product for us. Not our distributor, Nina. Well, that's I, not actually true because yeah, because I say our distributor because they you can don't still buy it. it at Walmart, but but we don't know for how long because just because it's in yeah. Walmart now doesn't mean that when that run is gone. So if you see it in Walmart, grab it. Okay, look, I want to show you this. See how I don't have to do anything to make that go in that pocket? It just goes right in. And you may not love that because I have a roomier pocket. But now, see, I can put, let me bring a bunch over. This one will be too small. I mean, too big. But now, see, I can put a bunch of things in this pocket, okay? And I have all kinds of room. This is too big, probably. No. See, look, I can put all kinds of stuff in this pocket. And I can even put bigger things if i want to come back and put like some memorabilia or something like that that pocket will give me room for that now the difference is you see how much room you've got you may not like this because look with brenda's album the way she does them see how flat and how snug that is so you may like the snug way better but if i if i do this which i can do these too these are those little booklets that she does look these little booklets will fit in here perfect isn't that cute? We should make some booklets going here. That'd be cute. I like the way that looks sticking out. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. I'll show you how to do booklets. All righty. Super easy. And I think I'm going to use just some solid paper for them. Am I? Hmm. Am I? Am I? Am I? I don't know. Okay, let's see. What have I got here? I got all this that I cut yesterday. Sandy, if you will, uh, Sandy asked about her one-year stamp set. Sandy, if you'll email info. Hold on, stop. I got a new email for that. Okay. Amanda, would you please put the new email for that? We have, we think, <laughs> we, from what we can tell, we have caught up with a lot of them, okay? A lot of them. I'm not going to say all of them, obviously. But we have created an email just for you guys to be able to email us about incentive stamps. And um, I'm going to get Amanda to give you that in just a second. I want to see how big I have to make this pocket. Oh, where's my ruler? So you don't want them to use the info. Don't one. use info for okay. incentive stamp sets. We've made you a special. I've lost my ruler. We've made you a special email so that you know that you are talking. That any email that comes in there is only about incentive stamps. Let me lay this down for a second. All right, so eight and a half. Oh gosh, I have lots of room. Okay, so dun dun dun. I'm gonna need my ruler, and I don't know what I did with it. It was on my table. Y'all lose stuff, cause I do. Hmm. I was looking for it, but I don't see it. All right, I think I'm going to do this one at five inches wide. So I'm going to cut this down like this to five inches. I'm not losing, I'm not getting rid of any of my scraps either, guys, because I want to make sure, do I want this to be three? I'm going to do this at five and a quarter. Hmm. Six and a quarter. Six and a half. If I fold six and a half and half, it's three and a quarter. That's probably good. I'm going to do it at six and a half this little booklet. <laughs> and I tell you what, I'll make a booklet out of this and out of this. I'll just have one that's smaller. Anyway, I'm not throwing away any scraps. They're, they're all useful, okay? No scraps need to go to waste. So don't even think about doing that. Just put them back into your pile of paper, and then when your album's done, you still might can use them when you put your pictures and things in. All right, so I have cut this to six and a half by five. I'm going to score it in half at three and a quarter because that is half. Score that little guy. Fold this down. Do you know what I need and it's not in here? I need my new tag maker board, huh? That would be so cute. Okay, here's the incentive stamp set um, address. It is stampincentive at gmail.com. If you have been in the stamp club one year, two years, three, three years, three years, you need to email us at that, uh, mess, at that email if you have not received... A stamp set, <laughs> goodness bless you, that you're expecting to receive. Your incentive set, okay? That is only, there's a date you had to sign up for. Amanda can put that date in to be eligible for that. All right, this one's five and a half. Half of five, half of five is two and a half. What's half of five and a half? Half of five is two and a half, right? 
and then half of that is that so two and five eighths and look you don't have to even score I just like to score and I scored it on the wrong side so I'm just gonna fold it this way look I didn't do it right I ain't gonna stress about it we're gonna let it be that's a little Brenda coming out of me isn't it uh, Susan the heaviest paper we carry is 110 pound right uh -huh. uh, she says she she's looking for a hundred and twenty pound paper then you're looking for Gina K pure luxury so go check out Gina K designs or Gina K what's her website I think it's Gina K designs and her pure luxury I am almost positive is 120 pounds I'm almost positive about that um, She's trying to find eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12. I don't know if Gina has 12 by 12. She probably does. I know she has eight and a half by 11. Hand me, hand me my tag punch. I think it's the one in the white one. You have to squeeze it to get it out of there. Uh oh, what's somebody bringing in that I said I wish I had? It took me a minute to find There it is. Never mind. I'll use this. Hold on. Let me put that in there. I thought I was going to have to ask you, where was I at? I wouldn't have known if you asked me. <laughs> so you did good. Hey, this is our new little, not our new, this is We Are Memory Keepers little tag punch board. I'm going to see if I can do this. I think this will be cute to have these look like little tags sticking out. So let's just see. I think something about along the lines of E looks good. Let's see if it'll cut through this. I probably have to work this. This is kind of some thick card stock that I'm forcing this little guy to do. Did it do it? It did one level, I, one layer I can tell. I'm really pushing this little dude. Well, I tore that one up, but there we go. Oh, that's cute. All right, now the question is, which one did I say it was, E? <laughs> Are you listening for me? Well, no, I wasn't listening to the what one you were using. I was cleaning up your other mess and then trying to figure <laughs> out what, if I missed a question in the chat because I had arrowed up to see something. So I had another mess? What did I do? You had to clean up something else I was doing? No, just putting stuff back. Oh, trying good. to make sure you have a, oh, a I changed clean my working mind. surface. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, so have y'all seen this tag punch board? I did a video on it. It was a live video where we did like a first impression on it. I really do like it. Um, I mean, look how quick and easy I'm able to do this. And it is cutting through both layers. I am sinking the blade though, like I do with anything else. Now look, that one I kind of frayed because I ripped it up, but that's no big deal. I'm just gonna do this. I shouldn't have pulled that so fast. Okay. So there it is. We do sell that, right? Yeah. This is the cool. It's really cheap, too. It's like $14.99 or something. I think they don't always bring them out that inexpensive, but they did this time. All right. Now I need my hole punch, and I kept it out today. Here it is. How you got is this? a new sponsor. Oh, thank you. How's Juanita. this for organization? How is that? All right. I'm just going to put a hole up here so this looks like a tag, and then I can put some ribbon in it. I won't put ribbon through both sides of it because that'll close it and I won't be able to open it. So I'm just gonna put ribbon through like the front of it for looks, ribbon or twine or something. But that'll come later, because I'm not to that point. So now we've made these two little booklets and you're thinking, yeah, but what are they for? They're for photos. So you put a picture here, you open it up, you put a picture here and here and a picture here or journaling, you know, about your day or your event or whatever. And then these guys are gonna live right, that is adorable. I love that in there. And see, I have a lot of room. So even when I add pictures to that, I'm going to have plenty of room to fill that up. I love it. Do you guys like that? I think that's super cute. Okay, Linda asked, will we be carrying the new We Are Memory Keepers Word Die Punch Board? I have no idea what that is. Never heard of it. I haven't seen that yet either. Uh, I'll try to look and see. If there's a punch board from We Are, unless I just think it's totally not something you need, I pretty much carry it. The only thing I've never carried that I know of from them is their uh, two things. The Happy Jig, I've not carried it because I, I'm not sure about that one yet. And the other one was the Square Punch Board, I think. The Square something. Because I feel like we can cut a square. Somebody asked, let me see, where's it at? Carol asked, what's the difference in the pink handled hole punch you're using and the blue handled one? The time that they made them. But when I got mine, they were pink. Now they're blue. They're the same. They just, okay. they sometimes do that. I don't really understand that, but I guess maybe, I don't know, a manufacturer might have stopped making this pink. Who knows? Or they could have heard a lot of our gentleman crafters who don't always like pink and they like different colors. So, and I've also noticed, you guys will know that they've been changing a lot of, We Are's been changing their grays to these whiter colors too. So, I mean, I think it's just a color thing. I know it is as far as the tool we carry in this one. It's the same tool. Maybe I should get a teal one. Maybe I should. I hadn't thought about that because it might be confusing in videos. Okay. Now for a fun tip. 
Fun fact. Ready for a fun tip? Is this my phone? I'm going to show y'all something. And I'm going to try to do this on my phone. I hope this will work. I'm going to Pinterest, but I'm doing this without showing you my whole, <laughs> my whole Pinterest board. Okay, let's see. Can I flip that way? Yes, I can. All right. So I'm on Pinterest. Tell me if you can see this, if this is going to work. Let me bring this up. I'm bringing it up higher. It's probably going to have a glare on it, and I apologize. I'll try to get that glare off. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I think. Okay, what this is, if you go out to Pinterest and you type in the search that says 6x6 um, six six card sketches, you will be able to see things like this and like this other one and this other one and this other one. They're everywhere, okay? And I just put in 6x6 six six card sketches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like each of these pages is a card is a card basically and I'm going to use these sketches to help me design it. Here's a good one to start with. You just put in card sketch in your search, put in 6x6, 5x7, A2, whatever it is that you do and these will pop up and then you just make yourself a board. And I actually made myself a board for this mini album because I want to show you this too. Let me go back here. So I like the way this little page flips up. By the way, if you want that paper pack, we carry it. It's the cutest stinking paper pack in the world. Is that the doodlebug? It's the doodlebug. Somebody will have to tell you, but that's it's the cutest order. thing ever. But The farmer one or whatever yeah, it is. I like the way this page is big and it flips up, and I thought I would use that. So what I did was I looked at mini album layouts, and I just put some in. Look how cute this is. I thought, oh, I could use that in my album too. And this is actually from a scrapbook. Like that's an actual traditional scrapbook. But I still can kind of mimic that in my album. And this. I love these circles on the side. And I really want to do that on mine. So I'm going to ask you guys to remind me and not let me forget to do those circles. Because I love how that looks. And I think I can incorporate my sun stamp set with that. The uh, Bask in the sunset. Because I think it would be cute if not bask in the sunset. Like the sun is setting. Bask in the sun stamp, stamp set. set. Yeah. I think it'd be cute if there were little suns on each page to flip. So y'all remind me. Don't let me forget. But does this make sense? Anybody say anything about this one? About this idea? Does this make sense? Um, it seems like it does to me. Does anybody else do this? Did I teach you something new? I like to teach something new, but I'm going to get back to the one we're going to do. This one. And what I do... I put it on my work surface. I don't even have to worry about that one. I just put my phone on my work surface and just kind of keep a, a look at it when I need to see it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this page over and we're going to do that layout, which is really just a bunch of squares, but it's super cute. So I think I'm going to pick two. Let me do this real quick. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick two pages. One that'll be the teal, one that'll be the gray, and then this I think I'm going to use just a coordinating solid color for a picture in the middle. Like Let's pick point. paper. You got questions? I see all in capital letters. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, there, there has been some, but most of them have not been, uh, you know, really hard ones for us to answer. Um, Haley wants to know, when did you first start li uh, liking to craft, and when did you start your YouTube channel? Um, let me make a change real quick. Sorry, Haley, I'm going to answer your question. I'm not going to do these patterns on this pattern paper. I'm going to do solid paper and do a pattern in the middle. Good deal? That makes more sense to me. Yeah, it does. Haley, I... You know I, me, I'm not a... Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, you're not a what? You know me, I don't like to mix patterns. That's a cute page for it. I like that. Um, I started... The qu first question was paper crafting. When did I start paper crafting? When did you first realize you loved crafting or whatever? Something along the way. Oh, I started... I knew I loved crafting when I was a kid. A kid. Um, since this page is six by six... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cut me a square. Cut me a square. I'm gonna cut me a square that is five and a half, and use that as my pieces. I started crafting when I was. I think the. I'm trying to remember the first craft I ever made. And I think the first craft I ever made. Besides coloring and stuff like with my mom or whatever, I think the first thing I ever actually made myself. My grandmother. Gosh, it was probably that. Okay, so my grandmother made ceramics. That's what she did for a living. My grandfather made molds, and my grandmother made ceramics. And I am positive that I made a ceramic of some sort. I'm positive I painted something or something with Grandma. But the thing I remember doing, like, first that I love so much was I made the hook and loop rugs. Do you guys remember hook and loop rugs? And it was probably even before that that I did. 
a craft, but I remember hook and loop ropes being one of those things. I would do this five and a half, so that's two and three quarters is a half. <laughs> Did it, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half both ways, down the middle and the other side. So, I remember hook and loop rugs because I would go to Walmart and I would pick out the little kits and I would love that. I loved going to Walmart to pick out a new kit. So I know I did those, but I also did, and you guys probably, no, I take that back. Some of you guys will remember. There was a technique where you put fabric in a hoop and you had these little paint bottles that had a ball on the end. You've seen them because Miss Doris brought me some. And they have little My paint mama balls. Had those. Your mama had them. And you would paint in, you didn't stitch, you painted in the um, images with those little baller pins, and I'm going to tell you something. That's where my love for instant gratification came from. Now, Carol wants to know, when she's contacting YouTube about issues, does she need to tell them she was watching your channel when it happened, or does that matter? I don't know. I would, If you have a spot, I would say it. There's a place to say it. I Our would text say it. paint. Um, actually, it could have been, there were multiple, we've discovered, because we wanted to bring it back, because I think it's the coolest thing in the Ooh, world. Oh, Creative Tamara said liquid embroidering. That's, that's what, what it was what called. That's what my grandmother did. That's what it was called, liquid embroidery. Okay. And that's probably the first thing I ever did that, you know, was true crafting. They, they still have it in some versions, but it doesn't get very good ratings, because I wanted to bring it back. So, now, I know you guys are thinking, you are covering up all that cute stuff with those solid pages. You think that's what they're thinking? I don't know. It's kind of what but I'm you thinking. remember, all you're doing is you. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm thinking. But you don't like it now that you started doing it. I'm going to do something else. Punted it. Punted it. No, I'm going to still use them, but I think this will make me feel better. Cuddle bugs always make you feel better. <laughs> I'm going to bring in the cuddle bug in an embossing folder. You know which one I want to use? Let me find it. I got so many to go through. Catherine was wondering if you might be able to do videos a video on the different types of crocodiles. Um there's well, not that many different types, is there? There are there's two different crocodiles. There's the one I'm using now and the bigger one. But then she may be thinking a lot of people call those punches crocodiles as well. And they may even say crocodile on them, do they? Do they say it on them? Do you remember on the packaging? I don't remember what it says on them. I think, I'm trying to find a specific, um, hold on a second. I'll be right back with you. For me, it's just white and aqua. I know, but do those, <laughs> do they call those crocodiles too, or are they punches? Yeah, they're all called So they're crocodiles. called, okay, then yes, I can. I didn't know they titled them that. That must just be the punch is a crocodile, and then. Now, Tamitha says we have a video that shows those in the 101 series. Oh, do I? Dang, I don't know nothing, y'all. I can't find the embossing folder I want to use. I bet it's in my room somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yay. Yay. Vinny bought this one a lot. He picked this one out for our store a long time ago, and I have used it several times. The sun rays. The sun rays will be cute for this, don't you think? Don't you think? I think. So, what I'm going to do is... Oh, I'm getting real picky about this. This is stupid. I shouldn't be this picky. Here we go. I'm going to put one piece here and one piece here, make sure they fit, and they do. And I want these rays... To go this way, I'm getting real too picky. Please do not think you have to do this. I, I think the fact that you sometimes do picky is good. okay. I'm gonna use some purple tape to hold these in place because I don't want to. You think it's okay sometimes to be picky? Well, I think it's wise to be picky sometimes. And if I'm gonna be picky, I probably should make sure I line them up at the same spot so the other ones will line up at the same spot too. I don't know. That might be going over. Could be. All right. Now we're going to emboss it. Um, I think that's a great video for um, Product Parade. Don't you? I think that's a great suggestion for that channel. If you don't follow us on the Product Parade channel, go over to May May's Product Parade. If somebody could put the link in the chat, that'd be great. Um, go over there and check us out on that channel. And I think that's a great place for me to do that kind of video. Don't you? We got a new sponsor from Stacy G. Thank you, Stacy G. That's, a, I think, the second or third new sponsor today. Look, that's cute, right? Second. So I'm going to match this other one to it. Peel this tape off. Carefully. I should have stuck this tape to my uh, pants to get some lint on it so it wouldn't be... Quite so sticky. 
Yeah, but that part's going to be hidden anyway. Ah! Okay, there's that. I'm going to take this and put it right there. We'll get back to it in a second. All right, and then I'm being particular again, which I shouldn't be. I don't think you need to be particular. Although, if you drop a piece, you do need to pick it up. Because that's what I did. I dropped a piece. All right, so if orange and yellow, it's going to be... Now, Terrence more. did say he think it's it's fine to be picky just knowing... Uh, when to stop is the problem. That's true. That's true. So I'm just going to do these exactly the same. I probably just switched those around, did I? I need these to go this way. Ooh, y'all, don't do all this junk. Just throw these things in this embossing folder and emboss it. Ain't nobody going to give you an award. Ain't no award for coolest embossing ever. <laughs> It ain't like we're fighting for some big award. We should do something like that. There was a girl. Did I hit this and make this do that? Um. There was a girl back in the day, and I cannot remember her channel name, and I hate to admit that, but she did this award show every year, and it was so cute. Do you remember it was the Crafty Academy Awards or something like that? And I won an award one time. You did? Yeah. I remember that. And it was the coolest thing. And it got real popular. And bless her heart, she it got so big and so expensive she couldn't afford to do it. And I totally understand that because, and time consuming. But it was so much fun. Um, I need to contact her and see if we can bring it back. Maybe we could give her some sponsors. Sponsors would pay for stuff. It was so much fun. I got voted uh, Thrifty Crafter of the Year or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something remember. like that. I don't remember. For, you, you, you got a trophy somewhere. Yeah, it's up front on the front counter. It's really cute. All right, I'm going to turn this where I know I got my front facing up. And I'm going to put this orange one over here. See, I like it better with a little texture. And you guys probably can't even see it in camera. We just did all that work for something you can't see. There's that one. And then I got this sunburst going. See, I did it wrong. We ain't going to stress. We're going to go that way. We'll just let um, it go whichever way. Linda is having a lot of buffering problems. So she said she was... She's ready to just log out and wait for the replay. I'm sorry you're having so many problems, Linda. And then um, Cynthia said, and this is a cool idea, I think, the quilt folder uh, would be pretty cool on those squares, too. It would. I have that one, too. I just thought these little sun rays would be cute since we're doing kind of a summer theme. But I ended up doing it wrong anyway. You can't talk and craft. That's the problem. You can, but you got to do your mindless crafting. You know the kind... That you just sit down and you don't have to think or measure or none of that kind of stuff. So do that there and do this one here. Oh, I must have missed your question, Denise. I'm sorry. Let me go back and see if I can find it. You guys notice that I'm covering up the hole? Don't stress. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. You kind of need to know where the little binder holes are going to be when you're putting your um, book together, but you don't have to like not cover them up, but you need to know because you don't want to put something that you can't poke a hole through there. So that's why I do them ahead of time so I can know where those holes are. Then what we'll do is when we get this page done, we'll just go back and put the holes back in. All right, now I need a piece to go on top of there. Hmm. Maybe this little piece. And I should probably, I don't know. Do I want to make it a pocket? Do I want to make it a pocket? Oh, I could put a thingy on it. Um, Denise said, if I join your wonderful stamp subscription, will I get a set in July? As long as you join prior to July the 1st, then you will get the July stamp set. If you join after July 1st, your first set would be in August. I need to explain why that is. A lot of people don't understand because they're like, I don't want to wait a whole month. I totally get it. But the stamp sets are made per month. So if you sign up after June 1st or July 1st or August 1st, then you've missed out on that one because it already went out. So you'd have to wait on the second one. That's why if you sign up on the second of the month, you have to wait a long time versus if you sign up on like the 30th of the month, then you get it when it goes out next. So I know that's confusing, but I mean, we, we make, we have to make the stamp sets in advance for that each month's club. I think that might've made sense. All right, here. And do I want to do that again? I don't think so. I ain't going, I'm not going to work that to death. I really want to kind of do like our little, see, remember we're doing like this. That's cute. So I'm going to lay this here 
I'm kind of thinking I want to turn this into a pocket. That's another thing. Even when you're finding these little layouts, you want to find as many opportunities for pockets as you can. So since we are, I'm going to show you another way to make a pocket that I didn't want to use on the front on purpose, and I'll show you why. Can you hear me, Scotty? So let's make the pocket another way. So there's always multiple ways to do things. I'm going to make sure I've got this facing in the right direction because I'm so bad about that. See, that's wrong. That's right. Don't move it. <laughs> Y'all don't let me move it. Okay, so I'm taking Scotty, and I'm going to trim off a decent piece, something about like that. And then, using my big Tim Holtz shears, I'm gonna make myself some strips. Just about a quarter of an inch. I don't want it to be too much. Um, I don't want them to be too wide, but I should be able to get three strips out of this. Just like this, okay. Now, you might be worried because I didn't measure these strips when I cut them off, but I don't panic about that because if I get too much, all I have to do is stick it back to Scotty. Let me show you. Can you hear me, Scotty, again? Because I'm taped up. <laughs> all I have to do is go back to, start, to Scotty and just stick this back down, and it'll be ready for me next time. Okay? So I don't waste it. I'll just use it next time. Now, what are those things that you're using from Pinterest called again? They're called card sketches. You probably could even look up layouts or anything like that. Now what I'm going to do, oh, double check again, y'all, because I'm bad, and I know I moved that this away. Okay, so this is the bottom. I'm going to start with the bottom so I can keep up with that. I'm just going to line one piece of foam tape on one side, okay? Then I'm going to take the other one, and all I need for this foam tape to do is to make a seal. I don't need it to go all the way down to the bottom or even all the way to the top. I just need it to make a seal. I'll show you what I mean. Let me flip this one over. It's bigger at the bottom. So I just need to make sure that whatever I'm going to put in this pocket can't fit through any gaps. And I'm going to put whole pieces of paper, so I mean, I'll show you from the inside. You see what I'm saying? That's not going to come out of there. It's not going to fall through any gap. So this now can be a pocket here. Now the reason I didn't use the foam tape on the front, number one, the front's going to get a lot more wear and tear because it's going to be the thing people pick up and touch and love on the most. So I wanted something just to be really sturdy and to take some kind of some beating up. Not that this won't, but it just won't hold the same as that sticky tape will. And I think, I think we're really going to, um, I think, nope, I'm going with it. I'm going with my sketch. I'm not going to change from it. So this is my sketch to have this in this area. So now that's another pocket that we've made. And then these little guys like this, look how cute that is. All right, let me get some other ones. Here's one too. So I can put a couple in here, just like this. And what I like to do with these guys is just tag the top and then um, poke a hole in them for a ribbon. And then whenever I put pictures in, I'll put them on the back. That's upside, no it's not, I was upside down. So the Ferris wheel goes this way, okay. Let's go back to this little guy. I'm enjoying this little dude. He's real easy to use. How do I want this one to go like that? So this is H. So press in, go up and go down, flip this over, go back to H. Oh no, it was F. You know why it was F? Because I can't do alphabets. Hmm. It ain't card math, and even sometimes I struggle with that. So look, it's a little tag, and I can poke a hole in it in just a second. Let's do this one. I don't want to do it as far down as I did that one because of the little flip-flops. So I think I'll come, well I am, I'm going to do it on F too, it works. I just don't want to cut into the flip-flops. So there's one half. Let's flip it over. Back to F. And these guys will be little tags to go inside our little pocket we just made. Holly wants to know what's a Brenda album. Well, it's the album we kind of started with. It's a friend of mine. She makes albums, and she does them without measuring and without all that good stuff. But I like to measure and use all my fancy tools and all that stuff. So my version is this. Her version is done in a playlist on my channel that you can find called Brenda Album. But it's missing part three because YouTube decided we didn't need part three. It just went away. How thoughtful of the YouTube. So here's my tags, okay? And on the back, they would get photos. This is where you put your pictures. And then these will go in here, and we will eventually put ribbon or um, baker's twine or something in there. And I think it needs something. Actually, I'm going to leave this for a photo. This is a great spot for a photo, and this will be a nice bright page. And there's your front cover and your inside done.
not completely. We've got to put pictures in and add our little embellishments, but that'll come. Yeah. And probably stickers. One thing I really love to do, if you're giving this album to somebody and they're going to put the pictures in later, it's really cool to not use the stickers or use save them some of the stickers. Because say I put a picture here and I want to take maybe these little sunglasses off and put them at the corner of the picture. If I have the stickers, I can do that. Does that make sense? So even if you build the album for somebody, feel free. They will think it is so cool for you to go, here's your album and here's a, a sheet of stickers to help you decorate it. That'd be so cool. All right, it's three o'clock. In one hour, we did front and back of this dude. And again, I'm gonna take these hooks out for now while we're working together. And so now when we bring this over, we have decorated the front of our album. Again, there's more to come on it. I wanna put some, you know, probably um, well, you gotta enamel do dots. All that kind of stuff will come. Some tinkering. Mm -hmm. It'll come, we've got till Friday to finish it. Mm. So that's two hours into the album. We've created the album. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let me do it right now. See my holes? All you gotta do is just um, take your little crocodile and go right back over where you were and just make that hole so they'll come right back. But we don't have to worry, are they in the right spot? We know they are, because we did all our holes earlier. So now my hole is right back. Cute, huh? Uh, we did have one quick question before we go. Um, what do you use to put your pictures down so that you don't damage them? Well, do I want the truth or like what somebody probably would do? You want what Maymay does? I'm thinking that's what they're asking, yeah. Okay. Maymay buys really inexpensive photo paper <laughs> from Amazon. And she runs it through her printer, and she prints them off herself at home. And then she cuts them apart, and she uses either art glitter glue or sticky tape. So you basically photocopy your pictures. I'm, I print them on print my printer. Them on your printer. Which is basically a fancy photocopy, if you think about it, because it's the same thing as a photocopy, just more ink. So you have the picture on your computer, you print it onto a photo paper, you cut it out, and, then and that way you're not damaging your I'm not using original a real photo. photo or whatever. I never use real, now I might use a, a Instax photo from an Instax camera, but even then I use sticky tape or art glitter glue. Those are the things I use all the time. This is my art glitter glue. Sticky tape comes in four sizes. There's one, two, three sizes of circles and then full sheets. Five millimeter, eight millimeter, 20 millimeter, and then the 10 by 12 sheets. I don't have them all in here, but that's what I use, these two things. And, if and you, it's uh, all on order if we're out, because I know some of it's out. These are the adhesives I use. I'll show you. I only have one left because I was making a sample today um, for Scripture Club. So these are my little foam squares. These are the little ones I use. This is my sticky tape. I have three sizes, like you just said, smaller and larger. This is my art glitter glue, and I use this. And hot glue when I have to. I rarely have to use hot glue. These are literally I don't my adhesives. The last time I saw you use it. And I, you know that's one of those things. It's like I know this guy's expensive, but this guy does the job and it will last me forever. Okay. I know these little guys are pre-cut and blah blah blah. But there's times when I just need this size foam square, so that's why I grab it. Secondly, this stuff's going to work for everything. It is tried and true. I've used it for years, okay? And then I know the same about this. And so I don't buy a billion different glues. I have some E6000, but I use it for what it's supposed to be used for. I don't use it for paper crafting or hardly use it for home crafts because it's not, it's, it's really, it really has its own place. So you don't need to spend a fortune on adhesives. You just need to get the right adhesives. That's all you need to do. Okay, Candy wants to know, where did you get such a big roll of Scotch foam tape? From mamamadeit.com. This roll, and I think we sell it at a discounted price. We don't sell it at the regular price. It's high. It's, it's high. outrageous. It's like 50 some odd. What, somebody put the link to this with the price. Um, it's like 50 some odd dollars. 54 or cheap. something. And it's not cheap. It's made by Scotch. And I'll just tell you something. If you buy those small rolls of it, like at Walmart, they're not cheap when you look at how much you're getting. But you invest in this, and it lasts you forever. Y'all, my last roll lasted me two years. Now, I am making more cards than I ever have because I make 12 cards a week just for my scripture ministry. So that's a lot of cards. And I am going through this faster this year. But if I only had to buy this once a year, it's not a bad investment. By the time you go to Walmart and buy the little smaller rolls, as many as this is, it's an investment. And but, Scotch tape makes Scotty. So. They don't call it Scotty. I call it Scotty because I had a contest for people to name it. And um, somebody said we should call it Scotty. And I love that because I like to say, phone me up, Scotty. Because it's phone tape. You should have quit. <laughs> hey, that's a t-shirt. Phone me up. <laughs> um, 
$54.99. Is that how much we sell it for? Yep. Oh, I thought we sold it cheaper than that. You need to see what you can do about that. Um, <laughs> put you on the spot, why don't you? Well, yeah, let's do um, that. And I see people all the time going, oh, I have this glue for this thing and this glue for that thing. Look, this is a dries clear matte adhesive. It is wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Now, Charlotte said that tape will hold your hem in your skirt. This in a one? Pinch. This one? I'm not sure. If Amen, which one she's sister. Referring to. Do you know how I know that? Um, first off, if you saw our Halloween costumes, it was done with sticky tape. That's a good point. It was. And that was um, felt onto sweat sweatpants. Yeah. And it was done with sticky tape. And the I will tell you that sticky tape will hold wind deflector. <laughs> You window know. wind deflectors on your truck. <laughs> so Vince comes up. He got a truck. This has been a couple of years ago. You got it. You bought a used truck, and you know how they have those wind deflectors on the windows. Those they're black plastic, and they're aftermarket. They're not something put on at the factory. And whoever put them on his truck, the foam was just disintegrating. It was going away. It wasn't even foam. It was something else. Anyway, he was like, "Do you know how to fix this?" I'm like, "Yeah, I know how to fix it." First off, I have to tell y'all, my grandfather always said, "Never say no. You can learn how to do it." Okay, so. uh I said, yeah, I know how to fix it. So um, when he came to the shop, I went and got the the, phone, the 20 millimeter tape, sticky tape, and put them back on, and they stayed the whole time you had the truck. They never yep. moved. Never moved. But I'll tell you how I know about this product. A friend of mine, who we actually get it from, she sent me this in a design team package one time to use with fabric. And I was like, this works with fabric? She's like, it will do. You will love it. She said, just try it. I've never bought another sticky tape ever since. No. I Now listen, don't go. Yeah, but that's because you've never used them. Oh, I've used them. I've used all those name brands y'all know. And I got the receipts to prove it. I've used all <laughs> those name brands y'all know, and I don't use them anymore. This is the stuff. It's kind of that way with most stuff we carry in the store. It's stuff that I really have tried and know. <laughs> It'll hold the, the, the lock panel on a Ford Flex. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Oh, my gosh. What about an ATG? Trent, what a great question. My ATG is in a cabinet in the closet of in a, in my craft room. I don't use it anymore. I used to be the ATG girl. Let's see. I got mine in about 2014. I'll tell Ooh, you. Oh, I remember you thought that was the greatest Ugh. thing since sliced bread. I was I was hot stuff with my ATG. I yeah. was. And I, I remember y teaching y'all how to use it. She even wrapped Christmas presents I did. with that bad boy. I, I remember it. I had ATG will travel. Okay, <laughs> that was in my holster. <laughs> but I put it down when I got this. And it was funny because I'm just like, y'all, listen, y'all got to try this stuff. Because here's what I'm telling you. I watched a lady who did crafts. She used this stuff. And I would watch her do just what you saw me do today. Put it on and it stuck right away. And she'd move on. I'd be like, wait a minute. You didn't sit nothing on top of there to weight it down. You didn't do nothing. You're just moving on. And she and I became friends. And I contacted her. I said, look, is that stuff really that good? She's like, yes. I use it for everything. And once I got a bottle from her, I've never looked back. Never. Um, it's amazing stuff. So, save your money. <laughs> Listen to me. Don't buy a billion different adhesives. That's all you need. And I should probably take down my old adhesive video because I have a lot of different adhesives in there that over the years I've completely stopped using. I Y'all should come look at my craft room. You would see. Linda, to my knowledge, it's just sticky tape. I, I don't think it has a brand name. It doesn't have a brand name. They order it in massive quantities. Um, she found it from, she told me, I can't remember how she found it, but we call, we actually, she started calling it sticky tape. I called it sticky tape, and that's what we call it, sticky tape. It doesn't really have a thing. Um, Belinda asked, will that glue work good for scrapbooking? Oh, absolutely. All the stuff I use is absolutely for, for scrapbooking. Is Tracy in here? Tracy, did you tell him about art glitter glue? You know, too. I see somebody saying, hey, to give basket appeal. Um, I have a bag of adhesives that are sad and lonely. I'm, it's true. It's true. Terrence uses it for everything. It's great. It's great. It's great. Somebody asked if it's acid-free. This one is, yes. Listen, permanent, water-based, non-toxic, dries acid free also listen to this if you get it on fabric it will leave a mark you'll know it was there it's it is not for fabric it is they say it is hold on let me read this side fabric dries clear for use on washable fabrics heat set to cure it it does stick 
Yes, Denise, we do still sell the sticky tape in all uh, five millimeter, eight millimeter, 20 millimeter, and a 10 by 12 sheet. I knew Tracy used art glitter glue. I just didn't know if she had told you guys the same thing. Um, no, you can't. Listen, you can overuse this. That's why they have this fine metal tip. Anytime, and this, you guys didn't say it, but I want to say this. Anytime you get paper wet, it changes the fiber of the paper. So if you're overusing this, you're going to warp paper. But because you use it with the fine metal tip, or the one ounce bottle comes with kind of a made in fine metal tip, that, that saves you from doing that. What's this one right here? A tag. Oh, that. Da, 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 da. It will ruin a shirt. Uh, dun, 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 dun. The sticky tape is as strong as red line tape. And you know what else it doesn't do? This how I'm going to tell y'all I know what I'm talking about. That's, <laughs> I shouldn't throw it up. That silly red piece that sticks to everything and won't come off your fingers. <laughs> Y'all know, just give me a little thumb. No, give me an emoji in there about that one if you know. Give me a happy face or something. Or my face if you're a sponsor. You know what I'm talking about. And pulling that, and you can't, and here's the best part. This tears, and it tears with your fingers. Redline doesn't. Okay, give Terry a quick shout out about how to clean her fine metal tip, or their fine metal tip. All right, look, I'm not going to open this one because I just got this one flowing real well. I like it like it is. All right, this, you take it off of here, okay? If it's clogged, this one is not clogged. If it's clogged, one thing I do is I'll take my little pointy, I almost said tweezers. <laughs> Look, I see my face and smiley faces. I, um, I take my little pointy tweezers and I'll get down in there and get any kind of gunk out I can get. If I'm not able to take this off and get to it, then I need to soak it in either a warm or hot water bath or I need to soak it in some hand sanitizer. That's my preference. I use hand sanitizer. Squirt some in a cup, take this guy off, put it in there, soak it for a while, and then I just clean all that gunk off. It will gunk. It's glue. Over time, it's going to gunk. That's why they give you those little cups and they tell you to hold on to them. I never hold on to them. I'll lose those things. Denise, we are in the process of getting those gold bottles. They're back in stock already, but the company that we are using um, for our next fundraiser we haven't got everything lined up with them just yet. We're expecting a call any day for them to get it uh, back where it needs to be. And so as soon as it, we get all that information, uh, the fundraiser bottle will be back in stock real soon. Are you not feeling H? <laughs> are you not feeling H? I'm feeling. Um, are the Bible covers going to be back restocked? Yes. Actually, I'll tell y'all. Sometimes I hate doing that to you guys, but I don't really know any other way to do it. But the, here's what happens. The truck, the book truck shows up. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be out front, and he knows if I go out there, I just start drooling over things. So I went out there, and I was picking out some books, which are coming probably next month. We've got some great books and stuff coming for those of you that like books. They're all Bible books or devotionals or things like that. But he had these Bible covers. And I'm like, that is a cute Bible cover. Let me see that. And he was like, oh, I got all of these. And I went, what? He's like, yeah, you can get these. And I was like, let me see how much they are. And I looked and I just recently bought a Bible cover. So I know how expensive they are. And, um, and I don't love the one I bought. I do love it, but it's not my favorite. And Vince makes fun of it because it's gold lame. <laughs> so I said, Vince wasn't with me. Here's what happened. Vince was inside meeting with guests. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. you were inside. And I said, since Vince isn't here, can I get one of each one you've got? And I'm going to put them on the store site. And if people like them, we'll start carrying them. So we're just doing a test. Like, I don't know any other way to do that. So we did a test. And we got a big variety of them. And they're really good prices. And if you're a club member, you get 15% off. So it's an even better price. So they're in the store. And from this morning, from what I can tell, we've had a pretty good response to them. I don't know if, I don't know if it's something we would carry like hundreds of although we could carry as many as we need but um they really are pretty tame if you could see them in person they're really really and they're so soft we had a visitor patricia register just came in a little while ago and uh she had uh the bible cover yeah 16 hours away long way away um but she came in and got a purple bible cover and it's soft and oh so nice it was so nice um yeah i use hand sanitizer for a lot of stuff all right, any more questions? I think we're good. Hey, somebody said something about using a stainless steel pen only yes. in art glitter glue. Yes. 
Uh, if you don't use the stainless steel pen, it will rust inside the glue. And it doesn't hurt the glue, it just kind of turns it a little different color. Let me describe it to you real quick. If you use your glue as often as me, this is what it does. You know how when you go, you don't make a hot dog very often. We don't love hot dogs like we should. We don't give them all the credit they need. Especially in my house because Vince won't eat much of a hot dog. And Amanda won't eat anything but red hot dogs. And we won't eat red hot It's a long story about hot dogs around here. But, you know when you have your hot dog and you go into the fridge and you get your mustard? What's the first thing that comes out of your mustard bottle? This old gunky water. Mustard juice. That's what it's called. Mustard juice. So, okay. you got to get the mustard juice out first before you can get to the mustard. Well, if you use a wrong pen in here, when you get to this, you got to get the old rusty juice out first. Now, I suggest using stainless steel pens. Okay? But, and I want to tell y'all something. Let me tell you what Vince did for y'all. When we were selling art glitter glue, I guess we'd been selling it for a year maybe. Um... People were asking for the pins, and we could we couldn't get pins or whatever. So you contacted your friends at Art Glitter Glue, and asked them if they'd be willing to make a pin set for us. And to my knowledge, or until recently, it was exclusive only through us. I believe so. It may still be exclusive, but you can purchase five pins through our store in a little container. Is anybody laughing about my mustard stuff? Nobody cares. Ron said red hot dogs are nasty. Try telling that to Amanda. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, oh, the cases. <laughs> All right, we need to go. <laughs> um, look, love red hot ones. Mustard juice, that's what it is. Next time y'all clean it out, be like, Mamey warned y'all about the mustard juice. I did. What else you gonna call so it? Wow. Babe, it's mustard juice. It's nasty. And let me tell you this don't get mustard juice on your clothes either, because guess what? It, it ain't, ain't coming, coming out. out. Good job, Stereo Sam. That was a high five. Sorry, right into the mic. Sorry. <laughs> I don't eat, eat hot dogs at all. Well, you're missing out. <laughs> you're missing out. What, is, what does she need on a hot dog to make her like it? Kraut? Oh, well, mustard. Chili? Slaw? Some cheese. No cheese! <laughs> Vince! <laughs> oh, chili no cheese, cheese dog. You can do, listen, not on a slaw dog. You can't do cheese on a slaw dog because there's cold slaw on it. Not coleslaw, cold slaw. You can't put cheese on cold. Can we get off? Hey. Gosh, <laughs> this has been three days of this. <laughs> oh, Lord, somebody said, I ain't a sausage. Y'all ain't nothing better than a slaw dog, Twyla. You know, girl, you know. And there ain't nothing better if they come from Sneaky Pete's. I bet y'all don't even know who Sneaky Pete's is. Y'all probably do. Probably do. All right. <laughs> We're getting out of here. Yes, you can, May May. Oh, I don't like Hebrew national dogs. Vince does. They're pretty good. Yeah. All right. That's enough of that. We got in a little. We got a little uh, stick yesterday doing too much of that. <laughs> I'm shutting up, getting off the air now. He's got to shut up and get out of here. Um. Oh Lord, Jean, I'm coming over. She's having my favorite food on earth. What is it? I'm not discussing. What's food my favorite no thing from VBS? It's the meal. I look. I ain't missing Corn VBS dogs. this night. Corn dogs. That's my May's thing. All right. We love y'all so much. We hope you enjoyed it. I, well, I'll even work on the buffering issues and see if there's something I can do on my end for tomorrow. Hey, these week, these everyday ones are helping us get better at this streaming thing. Really? Yeah, they're forcing us to. I actually think I killed my computer getting ready earlier. Awesome. So we'll see what happens. All right. We love you guys. I'm going to stop this stream now, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.